everyone, so in the previous video we connected our a child's iPhone to the custodial account and now we're going to log into the admin parent admin panel in custodial and look at some of the settings that we can uh, set for uh, screen time activities. So I'm doing this uh, as a demo. If you're doing this at home, I highly recommend you do this with your child uh, so they're aware and they know what is going to be happening uh, with their devices and that uh, you make these decisions together. So I'm going to click on login. Okay, so I'm just going to get logged in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am now logged in and as you can see um, child 2 has an iPhone connected to um, this profile so that's one we're going to set up and in the next video uh, in the next two videos we'll connect uh, a MacBook and then set up uh, some MacBook restrictions as well so let's go ahead click on child 2 and now that we're in that first page just a dashboard that gives you the current activity of the phone or the device that's being uh, monitored and currently we do not have any rules applied uh, so the first thing we can do now is come down to rules. Okay, so in here you'll see lots of different options. Um, web filtering, daily time limits, uh, routines. Um, these are the ones that uh, we might focus on just for this session and for games and apps as well. But let's start out with web filtering. Alright, so go into web filtering. Okay, so blocking unsupported browsers, so just in case they install a, uh, or try to install um, another browser apart from Chrome or Safari, uh, we can restrict that. And then the categories is basically broad categories, and I think automatically uh, it restricts some um, categories right off the start, and you can decide which ones you want to enable or disable right so uh, I'm not gonna dis I'm gonna keep all of these um, disabled uh, you can come back up here I am also going to disable social networks okay so I can block social networks on the phone okay. if there are individual websites that you would like to block uh, for example uh, roadblocks or something like that um, you can come in here and then you can add a website. I'm not going to do that at this time, but it's quite straightforward. You can just put in the URL and block the site. Okay, so that's web filtering. So let's come back to our rules. And so daily time limits. Um, let's go to games and apps first, actually. So games and apps uh, enable games and apps rules. So if we enable that, we can then decide what's allowed and what's not allowed. So here you can search all the apps or you can, it actually gives you um, a list of the apps that are currently installed on the device. All right, so if we click on entertainment, okay, we can see um, these four apps and then we can decide from there um, either to block them outright or we can set limits. Alright, so daily limits means how many hours per day they're allowed to use that particular app. Okay, so if we want to limit Netflix to maybe two hours, we can do that. Okay, and so uh, you'll see now that this has switched to uh, limits being set. Okay, and you can do this for more or less any um, app uh, that's installed on the phone. Okay, so let's come back out to the all right, come back to rules. And the other one you can set is your daily time limits. Okay, so this games and apps allows you to add individual times for individual apps. And if you want an overall uh, screen time allowance, okay, you can set that here. So if you want to set that to uh, say four hours, 
right? And you can do this on a daily basis, right? So maybe on a weekday, you're going to set the phone use to three and a half hours, right? And then you can do that for each day. Oh, well, Saturday, I'm going to give a bit more time. Okay. Right, and you can set this um, you know, to whatever you and your child decide is an appropriate time uh, for them to be spending on their phone on a daily basis. Okay. I will return back to the screen with my own children and we'll come to some sort of consensus and probably set it to somewhere around uh, one hour for weekdays and then set the two hours maybe on weekends. Right, and so here you can also see you can either lock the navigation, lock the device entirely, right? Um, and if you want to, you can get an alert when that time limit has been reached. All right, so let's go back again to rules. And now we're going to look at routines. So this is why we decided or I, uh, in the setup we're going to use um, on a per device basis rather than a per child basis uh, because what I can do is I can actually in a routine I can um, disable the phone during the school day so for example uh, school day starts at 8.55 and ends at 3.30 um, I can disable different functionalities of the phone um, during that time frame. Okay? Whereas on the computer, we'd actually want to ensure that we leave that window open because uh, our children will be using the computer for their schoolwork. Okay, So there are some presets. Right? Only allow educational websites, only allow entertain or allow entertainment, uh, or you can create custom. Okay. And from here, you can then click on the apps, and you can say allow all apps. And if you click on that, okay, it'll allow all the apps that you've allowed. And if you if you've excluded an app entirely, it still won't allow that. But then down here, uh, we can now decide. Okay, we're saying all apps, but now we can go through here and disable some of those. Okay, so let's just, for example, say we're going to disable WeChat and click on Save. Okay, and let's just say that's the only one we're going to do for this. It's just an example. Okay, click on Continue, Allow All Website Categories. Okay, we don't want to do that. We've already um, have some that are disabled, but if we want to, we can click on that and then uh, ensure that these are still selected. Okay, and then I will add social networks because that's what I did in the first one, and then continue. Okay, and then we can apply daily time limits, continue. Okay, we'll call this school day. Okay, you can uh, choose whatever icon you want, click on continue, and we're going to put this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and like we said, we'll start at 8.55, and go to 3.30, okay, and then save routine. All right, so we've added routine for our school day. All right, then you can set that to whatever you need to set that to. You can then continue to add another routine if you want to add one for bedtime, right? And you can add a different bedtime for you know weekdays versus weekends. Okay, there are all sorts of different uh, combinations you could use here. Okay, but the key thing is, um, since students shouldn't be using their phones during the day and they should be put away in their lockers. Uh, having a school day routine 
um, is can be very helpful so that your child isn't even tempted to go to their locker uh, during the school day to use their phone and try to sneak past the rules I mean the rules of the school okay so we go back to rules again there's some other settings in here um, location right you can enable location tracking um, so you can see where your child has been throughout the day uh, and you can change that um, okay based on uh, on whatever settings you want so right now it's just set to five minutes uh, that seems okay right uh, and you know you can go back in and play with these settings and look around and, and I encourage you to explore these with your child um, so that they're aware of everything that's going on with their devices as well All right so that's it for this screencast in the next screencast we will set up a computer um, and then we'll go through again setting up some rules for the computer uh, that are different because we want the computer to be available during the day and we might even make it available for a little longer in the evenings on weekdays uh, because sometimes if you decide that 7.30 is going to be the cutoff time for the phone they might still need to do, use your computer for homework okay, um, so that'll be in the next screencast so I hope you've enjoyed this screencast if you like this screencast please uh, like and or subscribe and we'll see you in the next one